All right, friends, welcome back to the show. Welcome to Judah Vision. I've got an interesting show for you today, and things have gotten pretty somber around the world as we all go down on lockdown. I'm not going to speak much about that because I posted a video about uh, a news release and some predictive programming I saw in it concerning that situation, which I won't even mention. Uh, and it got pulled down before it ever even went up. A couple of you probably saw it. You're sitting there waiting for it, and it's just disappeared. So I'm going to read you an excerpt on uh, of my new book, The Last Sun God, which is coming out soon. I'm around 93,000 words. I'm going to I'm going to let that rip really quick now because everything I'm writing about just happened. So I'm going to read uh, what I wrote around a month ago about Matt Cooper, the artist who designed the tower right behind the one from which the gunman shot that golden tower, and it's called the Delano Tower, and it's named the Delano after. Warren Delano, Delano, grandfather of Franklin Delano, but it's actually named after Franklin Delano. It just honors his middle name. There's a bar in the bottom of the Franklin, um, or, or the Delano, called the Franklin Bar, and on and on. There's if you look up, look it up. It's named after him, and he added Franklin Delano Roosevelt added the pyramid to the dollar bill. Now. It's no coincidence that the Luxor is right next to it, and that's where all those people shot. And as I tell you in my show, I, I believe that the Luxor was predictive programming placed on the dollar bill by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who has a tower in his honor right next to the Luxor. The pyramid with the capstone already landed, the lighted capstone. Um, so there's no doubt that that Luxor was the dollar on the dollar bill, unfortunately. And I've told you that was just that blood sacrifice was to sacri uh, to consecrate an altar for some spiritual trick that's coming. Now, don't worry about that because I know that makes people, although they're probably softening up on spiritual ideas right now, uh, makes people nervous. But I'm just going to read you this little excerpt by this artist who designed Delano Tower, uh, that was named after Franklin Delano Roosevelt's and his lineage, and this artist from New Zealand who now lives in Las Vegas, moved there about 10 years ago, has trouble drawing the dollar bill. And in particular, it folding up the way that we've showed you Taco Bell Balluminati commercials uh, show you to fold it up into a, a retablos, as Matt Cooper, this artist, calls it. But I'm just going to dig in here on the uh, excerpt from my new book, The Last Sun God, enjoy and run out and get it when it comes out because it's going to tell you everything you need to know about the mark of the beast and the way things are about to proceed. Quote, The Last Sun God. The artist's depiction of himself in the images above is damning evidence which could very well be construed as advanced knowledge of the crime. And I'd just shown the viewers uh, how Matt Cooper had drawn the actual crime scene in one of his pain paintings, this one in particular. Furthermore, the act of Matt Cooper painting himself in the scene of the crime should serve as an admission of guilt. In the days when common peasants could read symbolism, Cooper would already be strung from the highest gallows of our land. After Cooper telling us that all of his work is based on the $1 bill, quote unquote, he goes on to explain in the interview I mentioned above, with John Seed, art critic, I'm trying to slice off a bit of all that capitalism in the States and build my own kind of currency, like a barter system. It's kind of cut and dry like that. It's quite nice, Matt says. Perhaps what Cooper is speaking of when he says, I'm trying to slice off a bit of all that capitalism in the States and build my own kind of currency, like a barter system, he is speaking of the old caveman barter system. The diamond shape below Matt Cooper's self-portrait of himself painting in a monkey costume in his sun god painting Neo Genesis displays an image of a caveman painting symbols on the wall. And you can see that on the right image here. Does this dollar bill painting demonstrate to us that the Vegas shooting was simply the catalyst event with which Matt Cooper's race will knock us back into the Stone Age, as he said? Is a clandestine group attempting to financially bring our country to its knees? Much of Cooper's other works tell this story, as they are mostly based on our American dollar bill. Here is a Matthew Cooper painting in which we see the eagle from the Great Seal on the one dollar bill has been replaced by a bat who is pooping on a canvas next to stacks of gold coin on one side of the canvas and stacks of cash on the other. Matt's monkey suit painting gig also expounds that the American monetary system will soon be crashed since the gist of this circus act is thus. For act one of the gig, 
Matt acts as if he's painting a pile of gold on a platter. And you can uh, see that in this video uh, screenshot here, uh, which shows Joe Russ, his wife, and Matt Cooper. And he does this live art exhibit. And in this one, there are many more, uh, let's see, and in the next act, he puts a finished painting of a pile of dung on the easel and acts as if he puts a finished painting of a pile of dung on the easel and acts as if he's painting poop. And you can see in this image here, uh, you can see on the left side, there's poop. I'm pointing at it's real light because it's, it's white. And on the right side, it's gold. And there are many more examples of Math Matthew Cooper artwork which seem to be romanticizing a collapse of the world financial system. These are clearly an ode to what his forefathers did throughout time, for as mentioned in the start of this story, the Knights Templar were the very inventors of international banking. These acts are al alchemical meditations which will set the metaphysical stage for a collapse of American currency, which would in turn collapse the world markets. And as you can see, here's another uh, painting that Matt had done on a folded up dollar with the... With the eagle, which is now some sort of an alchemical bird, uh, probably a phoenix pooping uh, on a rose field, which Roosevelt means rose field. And here's a quote from Back Upright, and this is my last book, which I released just a few months after the shooting. Whence the gig is up and the curtains around the puppet show have dropped, revealing the long red arms. Wearing one of the faces of our two-party political system on each hand, it will signal a global event which they are prepared for and we are not. And their greatest magic trick of all, they've turned all of your hard-earned labor into worthless paper. They've traded everything you own for absolutely nothing. They believe that they will ride away on their colored horses and that we will be left to explode into flames. These words seem haunting even to me as I write them once again. This book I wrote is unbelievable, and it, it literally explains everything that's going to be happening in the end, end times. Please, uh, if you're my viewers, please let me know. Uh, if you see anything, you can you can email me at judavision at gmail.com. And if you do, I'll email you uh, links to the stuff that's been taken down. Um, Again, judavision at gmail.com. I'll email you the, the, the videos and imagery that has been taken down, which all of America needs to see. Subscribe to Judavision. Thanks.